I know. It's just, it's just amazing. It's just <laughs> Shaking and trembling. I like it. More. Shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> ha! I can think of more ways to make people suffer than anybody in the world. It takes skill, you know, and lots of deep, dark brooding. Hmm. I work hard at ugliness and fear and hate and my dear darkness, this black shroud that keeps me alive and kicking. Kicking. That gives me an idea. Lady Nozzle, oink oink, pig face. Oh. Lady Ogle, mole-eyed wonder. Oh, I can't see. Lady Murmur, cat got your tongue? <laughs> ha <laughs> not fit for the sight of man nor beast, hiding here with me in my gloom. I shut out the light years ago, cut off the rays of the moon and the stars and the blinding sun with a trowel of black stone, ramming clammy black clay into every cook and branny. <gasps> I mean, nook and cranny. No sunlight, no moonlight, no starlight. No light at all, because of the cursed curse. If light ever struck me. You droop, drip, decay, wither, wizen, wilt, putrefy, fester, rot, extinguish, expire, explode, fall into the seer. The yellow leaf. Enough! I hate poetry, and I hate alliteration even more. And if you start to make puns, I will, I will boil your livers in hot oil. But the curse on me will end soon, and there will be no more light to torture my desires. No one sees my dark soul in my dark castle, except you three uglies. And Lumina, the one light in my life. Come now. I command you. Is the castle dark? It is dark, my lord. Is the land black and gloomy? Black and gloomy, my lord. Are the people wicked? Very wicked, my lord. Good. Oh, I hate that word, good. Still, it describes everything the way I want it now, except for one thing. Lumina, Lumina, Lumina. Lumina, my prize, my treasure. She still shines too brightly with beauty and innocence that I cannot look upon her. But tell me, my uglies, does she grow dimmer? Dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. I do not have long to wait. Soon her life will glimmer one last glimpse, and then she'll be mine. But the pledge, the pledge, the pledge. Oh, the cursed pledge. I hate it more than the cursed curse. You must keep the pledge, my lord. I know. If I don't, I'm doomed. Sometimes I think I'm doomed if I do and doomed if I don't. But not a day passes when I don't stop and hate the old duchess for that cursed pledge. I remember, remember, care for the child Lumina, cherish her, and one day she would chase the shadows from this land. Remember, remember. And when the child brightens into a woman, accept all questing suitors with fair and honorable challenge. Or, remember, remember, or you extinguish. Fire! Explode! Enough! I told you I remember, ugly old bat. Good women are always so annoying. She must have known I would come to want Lumina for my very own, in spite of the sickening shimmer. But I am her guardian, and I will be her husband, and the Baron of this duchy. <gasps> I mean, the Baron of this duchy. Not if the pledge fulfilled and the curse ends. I told you I remember. So the contest will continue? Yes. <laughs> I thought of a thousand more possible tasks to be aspiring young lovers, if there are any aspiring young lovers left in the land. One last trial for soon, Lumina will grow dark. The curse ends when Lumina's light goes out. The, the curse ends, ends, ends. Silence, here comes the light of my life now. Good evening, my Lord Baron. Evening, it is morning, my little dove. Morning, but I thought it is so hard to tell the time with no windows, not light of day or night to guide us. We have clocks for that. And how is one ever sure whether it is ten in the morning or ten at night? What does it matter? 
We do as we please, when we please. No law prevents us. Because you are the law, my lord. The law. Law. Ladies, you may leave us. Announce for the trials to begin again tomorrow. The contestants will arrive at dawn and proceed to their assigned tasks. Get out. Ow, ow. They're impossible tasks. Oh, now, nothing's impossible. Not for a clever fellow. I only wish to see that you get the very best man for your husband. Do you? Of course! Why else would your mother, the good duchess, have given me this glad duty? Because she and I agree that only the bravest, handsomest, and cleverest man could overcome the tasks I set for them. That is true. My mother would have wanted only the best for me. But sometimes... Sometimes what? Sometimes I think I would not mind a young man who were not clever or brave or strong, only if he were kind. And kind young men don't win impossible tasks. Feeling down, are you? Good. It makes you grow dimmer. I don't mind. It's very tiresome. Standing around, glowing. I have nothing to do since it is too dark to embroider or tat, or even play solitaire. I'll get you a zoo or a lily. I mean a loot or a zither. And you can amuse yourself with music, as long as you don't bang on it around me. Oh, I won't, I promise. <sighs> Come on, let's go to lunch. Another thing, someday I'd like to see what I'm eating. <sighs> the suitors to young Duchess Lumina will start arriving soon. Oh. Every year they come, eager and brave and dare. Oh. And every year they return home, marred and scarred, broken and battered. Home. Oh. Well, what's that? I told you before, Dimwit, if you're going to stay here, you must not ask questions. You know what that does to me. I am sorry. Oh. It's just, I don't know anything. Oh. And how will I ever learn anything if I don't ask questions? Like, why is the sky blue? What is grass made of it? Where does the sun go at night? How does the moon rise? How pick up? How? Ew, ew, ew. There, you've done it to me. I am sorry. You ask me questions, which makes me think, which makes me nervous, which makes me. I'm really sorry. I became a hermit to get away from questions. Please calm down. I won't do it again. All right, I'm calm. You must realize, my inquisitive young man that there's no point in asking or answering. In this land, the right comes out wrong, the wrong comes out right, and vice versa for that matter. Well, why is that? Because of the wicked baron in the dark castle. Everybody good is bad, and everybody bad is good. Well, why is that? The usual reasons. Greed, lust, evil in general. When things like that get started, they spread like loot and turn everything upside down, topsy turvy, and vice versa. Well, why is that? Ew, ew, ew. Stop asking me questions. Nobody knows the answer anyway, especially not me. I just wish I knew one or two right answers. Then I wouldn't feel so stupid. <laughs> and I could go out into the world and settle down and get married, things like that. You're not stupid. Not too stupid anyway. Well then, why do people call me Dimwit? My name is John. Probably because you're too honest. In these wicked days, in this wicked land, only the wicked and the stupid can survive. And we who escape to the woods, it's a sad time. But only for evil people and hermits. But, but once the Duchess Luna marries, she and the new Baron will rule, and the bad Baron will go away someplace. Dream on, Dimwit, dream on. Come on in. It's getting dark, and there's nothing more to see anyway. Well, nothing except those people. What people? Uh, those people. Children, mostly. Do you think they're wicked? What children? All of them. Come on, I'll show you. Hi. Hi. I'm Dimwit, and this is Hiccup. Hiccup, come on and say hi to the children. Hi. <laughs> Pick up, they won't bite you. They're perfectly nice children. Are, are you sure? <laughs> you won't bite Hiccup, will you? Yeah. See, they're just a bunch of nice, funny children. Did you hear them laugh? Was that what that was? I don't remember laughter. I think maybe not all people in this land are wicked. 
or mermaids? Children don't count. Really well, why not? Well, ew, they're too small. Uh, not too small to play or to laugh. There's no room for that kind of thing here. Well, then I'll make room. How? Ew. <laughs> I'll marry Luna and free the land from wickedness. Then there'll be plenty of room. You're not only a dimwit, you're crazy. No, I'm not, and I'll prove it. You'll get yourself killed. No worse than living without laughter. Farewell, Hiccup, I'm off to the Dark Castle. You can't go to the Dark Castle. There are monsters there. No one comes back all in one piece. Oh, but Lumina's there, and I hear she's good and kind and beautiful. They say her beauty is almost blinding. Farewell, Hiccup. I'm off to the Dark Castle. Good luck, Dimwit. I'm here if you need me. Now! Hold up there. Not so loud, Sir Snort. Who's there? Who is it? Where is it? <coughs> Who comes here? And what for? I am Dimwit, and I go to try my luck at the Dark Castle. Dimwit, indeed. You must be to try and <coughs> so foolish. Not so loud, Sir Snort. Be warned, young man. <laughs> <Over here. laughs> oh, yes, be warned. Do not go anywhere near that dark castle. I mean to perform the task to win Lumina and restore laughter to the land. Who are you? I am Sir Snort. This is Sir Grove, and that is Sir Clamor. Once upon a time, we were all as foolish as you. I don't have much time. Listen to us. Softly, Grope, softly. I will listen, but not for long. I must get to the castle. Do you see my nose, my dim-witted young man? Forgive me, but it would be hard not to see it. Do all of you see this nose? Yes. Good. Then everyone who cares to can see it. Now I will tell you the story of the nose. Many months ago, I undertook to win the hand of Lumina. Is she as beautiful as they say? Don't interrupt. My task, the task the Baron set to me, was such an evil thing. My task was to steal an egg from the nest of the keen eagle. High atop the mount tiptoe. I accepted. The easiest thing in the world, I thought. All day I climbed up the steep sides of the mountain, scrambling from rock to rock with my fingers and toes, leaping from ledge to ledge, swinging from chasm to crevice. At last, I reached the peak and pulled myself, inch by agonizing inch, moment by painful moment, over the topmost ledge. At last, I saw it, the eagle's nest, the egg just sitting there waiting for brave, eager me. I pulled myself up a bit further, just with my nose over the edge, when Wimmo, the kitty will swoop down out of the sky and take me up by my nose and its teeth. I was helpless, flailing about madly. The kitty will flew down the mountain over the pillar field and dropped me at the steps of the dark castle. The bear was inside. I heard him laughing. <laughs> and my nose has been insult to the human face ever since. A very sad tale, Sir Snort. But what does that have to do with me? Then let me tell you of my sad face. But not so loud. It was not so long ago that I came to try my luck at winning Lumina. I was headstrong and wild, and I could do anything under the sun. And I said that to the Baron himself before he gave me the first task. None of us ever got to the second task. No one ever has. The Baron smirked. I remember that smirk to my dying day. He said my task was appropriate to my boast, for I was to spend a mere five minutes staring at the sun, then turn away and describe whatever I saw. I thought I'd win easily, for I'd close one eye and stare with only the other. And I stood there, my seeing eye held to the searing heat by my stubborn, youthful pride. When at last the time was up and I turned away, I, I, I can't see. My open eye burnt up blindness. Horror of horrors, my cleverly closed eye was so clenched with pain, I could not open it at all, not for a year. And then it opened to only fleeting glimpses 
of happier scenes. A very sad tale, Sir Grove, but that has nothing to do with me. Then listen to me. Come close, for my own voice sounds like thunder to me. I came to the dark castle as they did, bursting with a conquering bravado, the legend of my success already written in my foolish fantasy. My task was simply to listen, to listen to the song of a cricket in the castle kitchen, and to catch it within seven hours. How simple, I thought. It was so simple, I was almost disappointed. I would have to content myself with more heroic matters for the second and third tasks. I heard the first trip as I entered the dark room and followed it closely. But crickets are wary fellows. They do not chirp when you come near. For hour upon hour, that insect and I battled it out. I move away and he'd chirp. I move closer and he'd grow silent. The closer I'd come, the quieter he'd be until I grew frantic to hear. Oh, I strained and I strained, but I never caught the little bugger. I suspect a trick, but no matter. How the Baron cackled when I came out of the dark room. <laughs> For my ears are as you see them, and now every sound above a whisper is agony to me. So do you see the kinds of dangers you face? Do not try, Dimwit. These are very sad stories, but they have nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with you? Can't you see that if you attempt the Baron's task, you end up maimed or crippled. Even if by some miracle you succeed at the first task, there are two harder ones after that. I'd rather hear of happier things. Tell me, did you see Lumina? Is she as beautiful as they say? <sighs> when she walks into a room, the sweet odor of gardenias fills the air. And her voice is soft and sweet as wood flutes in a meadow. And all around her, it is a strange and glowing light. Like, like... Like love. I don't remember. I must hurry. Goodbye, and thank you for telling me your tales, however sad. Stop before you start. You'll be sorry. Not so loud. No one comes. No, no one. No one. No one. No one at all. Cowards. Craven cowards. All of them. Ha. Oh. 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 No more brave or handsome or clever young men left. No more. No more. No more. No more. <coughs> men. Well, I suppose my feelings should be hurt, but it's almost a relief. Well, it's very boring standing around, waiting to be won. Just a kind of prize, like a blue ribbon or a trophy. That's what hurts a person's feelings, being thought of as a thing. It hurts and it's boring. You know what I'd like? I'd like to do something. Do, do, do. Do? Something like work. Work? Work. Work. Only servants work. That doesn't seem fair. Why should they have all the fun? 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 Surely she jests. Jess, oh, if only I could. If only I could tell a funny story, recite a silly poem, dance a funny dance. Failing those, I would really like to work. She grows brighter when she wishes. Brighter when she dreams. Brighter when she hopes. I don't fancy Zumina. Let them fade. Oh, better, much better. I shall soon be able to be close to you, to feel your dark presence, touch your cool hat. Remember. Remember, remember. Ah, oh, curses. But it won't be long now. Surely by the end of the week. No more than two. Well, let's close up. In all the land, they've all given up. Given, given, given up. No more young men. No, no more, no more, no more. Men, well, I shall do without. There is one. Mm. Excuse me. Is there anyone here? Hello? One, one, one! Greetings. 
Which of you would be the bearer? <laughs> Silence! You know I hate the sound of laughter, except my own, of course. Oh, hello. Are, are you the baron? Oh, your lordship. Majesty. Sir? <sighs> oh, my goodness. You don't have to tell me who you are. You will express yourself properly to the Grand Duchess Lumina. Uh, oh, my goodness. Well, this shouldn't take long. Young man, your name? Dimwit. Uh, I mean, John. John. Dimwit. How appropriate. <laughs> Now, Mr. Dimwit, may I assume that you are here to try your strength and knowledge in the quest for the hand of the Duchess? I meant to mention that when I came in. You realize that hundreds, hundreds of handsomer and braver men have tried before you and failed? Yes, sir. And those that survived went home much maimed and often mad? I've heard tales about them, sir. And you still wish to try? Yes, sir. Well, don't say I didn't warn him. All right, your first task will be a simple one. Bring here to me within the hour uh, uh, an armful of water. An, an armful of water? An armful. No pail, no buckets, no container of any sort. Just an armful. That's impossible. I'll think of something, your ladyship, Miss Highness. Uh, don't you worry. On your day, wouldn't it? <laughs> Um, I mean, on your way, Dimwit. Oh. Well, Lumina, how would you like that as your duke? He seemed nice. Nice? What good is nice? He made me laugh. Uh, <laughs> laugh? What good is laugh? It may not be good for anything at all. Not good. But it's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Silence. No matter. Wait till this dimwit gets waterlogged. Or if we're all lucky, drowns! An armful of water. Not bad if I say so myself. Oh. <laughs> Hiccup! Hiccup! Hurry! An armful of water from the well. What? What? <clears throat> An armful of water. That is my task from the bear to win the hand of Lumina. An armful of water? Hurry, I gotta get this back before the hour is up. Oh, okay, Hiccup. Lumina's so beautiful, she gives out light. She glows. This water sure <clears throat> stuff. He can't be that stupid. It must be love. That's the usual explanation for some lunacy. He'll never get an armful of water. Water isn't something you could get an armful of. I suppose we ought to help him. He's one of the few good people left in this land. How shall we do it? How can we get an armful of water? I know I've seen it or felt it, or tasted it? Come on, shout it out. Help me. No. I think it has to be an armful. Maybe, how can you turn water into ice? Freeze it, freeze it. That's it? Say, you're pretty smart for kids. Maybe children are good for something. Now that you've provided the logic, I'll see what I can do about some magic. It's been a while, but I'll do my best. North wind, north wind, come down from your mountain home. Blow icy breath where you roam. I guess the north wind is blowing icy breath somewhere else and can't hear me. But we've got to get it down here to freeze an armful of water for Dimwit. Come on, everybody, north wind. North wind. Oh, I see. Oh, but it's so cold. Never mind about that. Work. Work. Hey, that's something I know how to do, but... Ugh. Keep at it. We've almost got it. <clears throat> there. It's an armful. Now quickly, run back to the castle before it melts. I will. Thanks to the north wind and pick up. Oh, and the children. <laughs> You look chill. I'd light a fire if it didn't spread so much of that cursed light. Well, the hour's almost up. Almost, 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 almost. But not knock. <laughs> Don't you ever knock? What is that? An arm full of water, your sir ship. I didn't. Not one bit. It's water and it's an armful. 
May I put it down? It's very cold. Take it away. <laughs> and don't enjoy yourselves. <laughs> well, Dimwit, you succeeded with the first impossible task. Must have been a matter of magic. A little and a lot of help. Help? Who? Friends. Friends? There is no such thing as friends. I outlawed that kind of thing years ago. At the same time, I cut the kite from the lasso. Um. I mean, the light from the castle. Oh. I'm not one for arguing, but there is still friends and help, as there is still light in the castle. Oh, be quiet. You did the first impossible task. We'll see how you do with the second. I'm ready, your baroniship. Second task. Juggle fire. Juggle fire. Juggle fire? I can see it now. Blazing balls of brimstone. Scorching your hands, your hair, your eyebrows. Searing the flesh from the bone. I can smell it. I can hear it. Oh. That's really disgusting. I better hurry and find some fire, I guess. I don't even think I know how to juggle. You'll find a way, Thomas. I'll try. You have an hour. Now get out. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but that dimwit fellow succeeded in the first cast. Not so loud. He did it. I have it on the best authority. You have. A nose for news. <laughs> Here he comes. Where? There. Say, Dimwit, I heard you succeeded in the first task. I did. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. How'd you do it? Oh, with help. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Aren't you going to tell us? Softly, softly. Not now. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. I think he was in a hurry. Did you hear what he said? Of course. What? What did he say? That he had help. That's right. He said he had help. I heard it the first time. If we'd had help, we might have succeeded. <laughs> well, at least we might have done something. Something wonderful. Something grand. Maybe even something good. Good? Good? You remember good, don't you? I had forgotten. So had I. I like it. You know, it might be interesting, maybe even fun to be good. I wouldn't know where to start. By helping Dimwit, if we can. Good idea. Good luck. Good grief. Softly. Let's go, good friends. <laughs> Juggle fire. What? What? That's the second task, to juggle fire. Oh, I hate this juggle fire indeed. We're here to help. We thought we'd try being good. Good? Help? It must be catching. Evil spreads over everything like glue, but goodness spreads like fire. Which brings us back to the second task, to juggle fire. Fire? That's hard. Let's all fail. <laughs> you think too, please. Let's see. What is fire? There's real hot fire, but that would burn dim with us. There are stars. They look cool enough, but they're hard to come by for juggling. Let's see. What else is there? What's fiery? yet cool enough. I knew I'd seen it. If I could just remember. Somewhere, uh, above the grass, in the meadows, at night. Come on, you don't need to raise your hands, just shout them out. What about like flying fire, like bugs? What if we had bugs that were like fire? Fireflies, that's it. Brilliant, I have some crystal balls. Hollow ones given to me by a wayward gypsy. We'll have to catch fireflies. Hundreds of them. At least fireflies are quiet. 
I'm not going to be of much help. Oh, well, we have plenty of firefly catchers. Everybody, start now. Catch them flying above your head. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't hurt them. Softly. Like that, there. <laughs> An hour, and I gotta learn how to juggle. I couldn't catch a fly, but I used to be quite a juggler. Balls, pins, knives, cats and dogs. Teach me on the way. Come on. Good luck. And be careful. It was quiet. Oh, I hope they make it, but I think we need a rest after all that work. Gentlemen, may I ask you a cool drink of water and shelter of my home alone? but I promised I'd let the fire go. Oh, besides, you have your clothes. It was a gift from my mother. Not a talent or anything I earned. Just a small gift of glitter. I see a soft and gentle light beneath the glitter. What is this silly twaddle? I'll have you whips, clogs, water, huh? ground into bits and sift you through a seam. Oh, but the pledge, the curse, the third task. All oh, right, the third task. Let's Let. No one's ever made it to the third task before. All right, listen carefully. Young man, do you see that it is dark in my castle? Well, yes, I noticed that when I came in. That's probably why they call it the dark castle. <laughs> Clever boy. It has no windows, so no sun, star, or moonlight can get in. And it is my command that none ever shall. No sun, no star, no moonlight, no fire, no candles, no new fangled contraptions. And my command stands. Now, here is your third task. Make the castle light and bright. With no sun, no star, no moonlight, no fire, no candles, no new fangled contraptions. Nature only. What you see is what you get. Right. How do you like it? It's uh, hard. Right. Oh. I love it, but I can't take credit for it. It was decreed to be the third task by the old Duchess. The dark castle is to be light and bright. With no sun, no star, no moonlight, no candles, no fire, no new tangled connections. Oh, fangled contraptions. Ah, uh, I couldn't have thought of a more impossible task myself. You have an hour, Smarty. Now get out. I promise I'll try. Oh, I forgot one little thing. Yeah. If you fail, I will chop you to bits and have you for breakfast. You're a dangerous character, and I must rid the land of you and your kind. Help. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Bob, if Chloe. John, perhaps you should stop while you're ahead. He means it, and I doubt. But you are, and even if you weren't. Goodness is, you have an hour. Now get out. He'll succeed. I know he will. He will. He will. He will. He won't. Aww. There's no way. The great duchess carefully eliminated all of the possibilities. My dear, will you stand back a bit? 
The glare is annoying. after I'm done with you. But, but where is Lumina? Oh, I sent her to her room. She was getting too upset. But, but I, I need her. She has to be here. I, I, I mean, I would like to see her on my final try. Rather to see your failure? Why bother? Consider, consider it a condemned man's last wish. Oh. What? Oh, all right. Does it make a difference anyhow? Fetch her. Well, uh, sir, I have to admit, this was a pretty big problem. Even difficult, you might say. Yes, yes, of course. 
It was not without thinking by a great many people that any idea that occurred at all. Get on with it. Babble, babble. Um, see, the thing is, um... Wait a minute. You're stalling. What's going on here? Do it. You came back. Oh, Lumina, thank goodness. Now, 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 now. I'll be back. Don't you worry, I'll be back at the sequel. <laughs> oh, how beautiful everything is. It worked, it worked. See you, sir. Yeah. Uh, no. Where is he? He extinguished. Oh. with the mop. Somehow, I knew you would be. John, I think I love you. Really? How marvelous. <laughs> I love my clarion voice. Sir, your nose is a wonder. I'm envious. Loved it last. They aren't much, but I've got four of them. Together we'll have five. A panorama. <laughs> Lumina, I claim your hand in marriage as my prize. All right, but this is the last time for such a contest. From now on, prizes will be restricted to lemon cakes and balloon animals. Yay! Agreed. We will rule over this land and tell everyone as a friend to everyone else. This is enough to make me give up being a hermit. Can I make a decree that my friend, Hiccup, won't ever have to answer questions ever again? Who are you? Where did you come from? What's a hermit? <laughs> No, I guess I can't. Well, now that I know that I could get help, I won't mind answering questions so much. So be it. Then accept my thanks. They're the ones we have to thank. Thank you! Uh, I'm Dakota Lopez, I'm 15, and I go to Cibola High School. I'm Alyssa Tensky, I'm 12, and I go to Eisenhower Middle School, and I also went here. I'm Kim Goodman, I'm 11, and I go to Eisenhower. I'm Madison Lord, I'm 13, and I go to Desert Ridge Middle School. I'm Christina Nyate, I'm 15, and I'm homeschooled. And we're New Mexico New Hampshire, thanks for 